estranged wife of the, Gilbo, the accused Gilgo Beat serial killer says she wants to give him the benefit of the doubt. CBS 2's Jennifer McLogan spoke to a neighbor in Massapequa about their conversations with her. Mail delivered, no response from inside the Hewerman home. Neighbors in Massapequa Park are curious after hearing Asa Ellerup, the wife of the accused serial killer, declare that her jailed husband is not capable of the crimes. She said to me that she didn't think he did this. Etienne Devalier, retired FDNY, has lived next door to the Hewermans for 28 years. That house is a mess, and he was spending a fortune on hookers. I told her to her face, and she said, no, he was. I said, yes, he was. I said, yes, he was. He was spending a fortune on, on call girls and wouldn't drop a dime in that house. In her statement, Ellerup said, I will listen to all of the evidence and withhold judgment until the end of trial. I have given Rex the benefit of the doubt as we all deserve. And she also emphatically wanted me to express sympathy for the victims. Robert Macedonio, Ellerup's attorney, acknowledged his client served Hewerman with divorce papers inside the jail. You can go forward with your divorce and still not believe that your spouse of 27 years was capable of being a serial killer. Despite Ellerup's claim she visits her husband weekly, the sheriff says it's been seven times since his July arrest. State-of-the-art nuclear technology is being used to link Hewerman to the crime, which includes DNA from their daughter, Victoria's energy drink, discarded, leaving the LIRR, and hairs that come from Asa. I would love to see her as a witness for the defense, but that's up to them. Ultimately, uh, it would be helpful to uh, the prosecution case. We have nuclear DNA that was recovered from three out of the uh, four uh, victims. That nuclear DNA is consistent with the profiles of the defendant, his daughter, and his wife. Prosecutors reiterate they believe Asa Ellerup and her daughter had nothing to do with the killings. Rex Hewerman is back in court next month. On Long Island, Jennifer McLogan, CBS 2 News. And our attempts to reach Rex Hewerman's defense attorney were unsuccessful. Hewerman has pleaded not guilty to the charges.